Hello friends, it's Miss Ashley. I'm here making a video again today about math. Yes, I know, so exciting, but I'm going to try to make it a little more exciting and realistic for you today. I say realistic because I know we use math a lot in the classroom, but there's also math out in the world and the community all the time, right? So, you ready? What's this? What in the world is this? You're right, it's money. It's our paper money. Here's a $10 bill. Here's a $5 bill. And here's a $1 bill. I thought I had and a $20 bill. Believe me, I wish this was actual money, but it's our play money or our practice money that we use in school. So we are gonna use math today and I'm gonna show you how it connects to real life skills because Miss Ashley uses math every day, your friends, your family, your teachers, your um, other staff members, your peers, everyone uses math every day. So you see this a lot in our community. Let me put these back. Mm -hmm. Also, you might see something that looks a little like this. This again is our practice, but it's a credit card. Right, and you, you say swipe credit card, and now there's chips. This is money too. So even though it doesn't look like this, all right, paper, it is money. It's connected to bank accounts, and every time you use it, it takes money away. And every time you add money, it adds money. So we've worked on addition and subtraction. Now we're gonna work on three other math topics. So if you look to the right, unfortunately, my cool little pen isn't here today, but I do still have my mouse. We have three symbols. And I know that you are familiar with these symbols because we work with them at school. But I, again, practice makes perfect. Just like Miss Ashley says, your brain is a muscle. The more we use our muscle, our brain, right, it's a muscle, the more it gets stronger and bigger and better. Just like if you're working with Miss Paula to make your bones and your legs and your arms feel better, working with Miss Stacy, making your grasp stronger, your reach, working with Miss Cindy on your speech, your vocabulary, that gets stronger. You work with your classroom teachers as well on different skills to make your brain stronger. So we have three symbols. You can look over here at my cursor. We have the greater than or more, right? When something's more, it's bigger. We have the less than, smaller, more and smaller. And we have the equals to. I think we're a little bit more familiar with the equals to sign because I know at school and at home, we work on things that are the same. So it's the same numbers, the same colors we match. Things might have the same taste. Things might have the same sound. They might have the same smell. They also might have the same feel. So we're pretty good with that. But we're gonna work on it a little more. Like I said, your brain's a muscle. You gotta keep practicing. So even though this is a, these are commonly used symbols, I have to be honest with you. Ms. Ashley gets confused. I get a little confused with the greater than, the more, and the less than, the less, the smaller symbols. They look the same to me. I do know they're pointing different directions, but it's very confusing. I got a little trick. Look at this. Now, take a look. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to put it closer to the screen. I want you to see if you can see differences between the symbol Miss Ashley's holding up and the symbol and the symbols that are on my screen. Can you see my little face? 
just want to make sure you can see it. Oh, there we go. Look at that symbol I'm holding up. And look at the symbols on the screen. There's a little bit of a difference. One might be a little more silly than the others. Did you make guesses? I hope so. And I, I mean, any educated guess is not wrong. But I'm going to tell you some things I see. I see this looks like an alligator. <gasps> you know alligators, they live in water, swamps, they're green. They have little legs, big old mouths. The thing I know about alligators is they're hungry, just like Miss Ashley all the time. Hungry, hungry, hungry. And they want to eat the more, the better, meaning they want to eat the bigger thing, just like Miss Ashley. So, for example, if Miss Ashley had to choose between two french fries and three french fries, even though I would want all of them, which would make five, if I only had to choose, I would want the three french fries because three is greater than two. Just like the alligator. The alligator wants to always eat the bigger number. So when I see the inequality symbol, that's a fancy name for the symbol. At the big open part, I put teeth. And I just put the little eyes there just to be cute. But I put teeth. This makes this big open part a mouth. And it helps me, it's a little cool trick, it helps me remember that whatever the mouth is facing, whatever number the mouth is facing, is the bigger number. Isn't that cool? Sometimes Miss Ashley thinks about things. So let's see. This is saying, so we let's look at the mouth. What number is the mouth pointing to? Meaning what number is the alligator trying to eat? The four or the three? What number is the mouth, the teeth, pointing to? The four or the three? You're right. It's the four. So what that tells us is that four is greater than three. So let's put it in our cool little worksheet here. Four is greater than three. Now I know what you're saying, Miss Ashley. I love your trick and all, but prove it to me, girl. Prove that this is right. So, you know how Miss Ashley feels about clapping things out, clapping more specifically, not only things, clapping numbers out. I love clapping numbers out. The reason why I love clapping numbers out is because not only do we say the numbers, but we hear a clap and we feel the numbers. So there's three different ways that we can understand those numbers. Also, if you're not clapping right now, that's fine. Someone around you can clap or, can you hear that? Ms. Ashley's banging the table. So let's prove that this is true. Is three greater than four or more than four? So let's clap out the four. One, two, three, four. Hoo hoo. That was that was a good one. Felt that. Now let's clap out the three. One, two, three. That was a close one. But I think, and I hope you do too, that. I heard, felt, and said more things with four. So that means our inequality is true. Four is greater than three, right? Woohoo! So again, I told you I'll make this a little bit more fun with money. So let's do it. Let's have, let's do use our money. One, two, three. Four. Mm, okay. So if we have four dollars 
and we go in a store and we go in, we're looking around the store, seeing all the cool stuff. And we say, oh, that new, <laughs> that new folder is so cool. Just making things up here. It is $3. I have $4 in my hand. I have four ones. Can I buy it? Let's see. Let's try. So I already know that four is greater than three when our inequality. So that's helpful. But let's count. So if something's three dollars, one, two, three. <gasps> that's it. I gave the cashier my three dollars to pay for something. And look, I'm rich. I have another dollar left over. Woohoo. I love, love when that happens. Love it. Okay. Let's look at something else. Let's try our little trick again. Now, what number, I'll repeat it, what number is our alligator, his teeth, and his mouth pointing to? Is he pointing to the five? Is his mouth pointing to the five or is his mouth pointing to the eight? What do you think? You're right. Look at his little teeth. They're pointing to the eight. That means five. That means eight is greater than five. But Miss Ashley, this is asking what's less than. So it's the same thing. If we know what's big, what's greater than, the opposite is less than. So we know that five is less than eight. Let's put it in. Five is less than eight. I know you might be a little tired of this, but let's do it. Let's clap it out. So I'm not gonna clap right now. I'm gonna bang on my desk, okay? And just to let you know, I'm in my office right now by myself with the door shut. That's why I don't have a mask on. But I have my mask right here. All right. So let's bang it out. So let's have, let's bang on the desk. So let's do five. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Okay. All right. I heard it. Said it. Slapped it on the desk. Let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. That was more. Don't you think? That eight, whoo hoo. I felt my hands banging on the table more, my mouth was moving more, and I could hear it. So that makes it true. Our eight is greater than five, or five is less, it's smaller than eight. All right, let's try these one more time. Let's use some more money. I'm gonna erase this, erase that, erase that. Okay. Let's do this. I have $3 bills, okay? Three $1 bills. So let's count. One, two, three. Ooh. So if I have these, these $1 counts as one, we put them together and it's $3. Now, I have a $5 bill. So friends, you're gonna have to help me because it's a little confusing. I have a, just one paper here. 
one little sticky paper that says it has a five on it. But I have more of these. So I would think, all right, if I have more of these, or I have more paper in my hand, it's more. But is that true? Hmm. You're right. We're going to count it out. Let's count the three first. One, two, three. Whew, okay. That was our three. Our three papers, our three one dollars. So let's do our five. One, two, three, four, and five. Whoa, hold our horses. Couple things. I felt that five, I felt more claps when I counted to five. So if I think back, that means five is more. Hmm. But there's more paper. Friends, don't let it trick you. Five, even if it's just this one, is greater than three. So if you go to the store and something, the price tag is $5 and you have one, two, three of these dollars, I hate to tell you, I hate to be the person to tell you, but you don't have enough money. You gotta go back, do more chores, Go back to your job out in the community, earn some more money because you need more. Even though it looks like it's more, it's a little tricky. Here's another one. Miss Ashley's full of tricks today. All right, these two, again, this is the, our practice money. Unfortunately, it's not real money. This one has one paper and another paper. Now what are we gonna do? This number is 20 on our paper. And this number is 10 on our paper. No, I, don't, I don't know what to do. What? Clap it out. You're right. Let's do it. Let's count to, let's clap to 10 first, our $10 bill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here's our ten. All right, so we remember that. We felt it, we said it, we heard it. Now here's our twenty. Let's do the same. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Whew. Friends, did you hear that? Did you hear it? I think I heard the number 10 when we were counting all the way up to the number 20. You're right, we did. So that's another way we can say that 20 is greater than 10. Cause we counted up to 10, we didn't even stop. We kept going to get all the way up to 20. So not only do we use our clapping method to show us that 20 is more than 10, but we heard the number 10 on our way up to counting to 20, and we didn't stop. We kept going up. We kept getting bigger. So this shows us that 10 is less than 20, even though they're both just one sheet of paper. They have different values, meaning there's different numbers on them, right? So if we go to the store 
and you're looking around, looking around, and you see a new t-shirt, you're like, oh, yeah, I need that t-shirt. And it's $10. And you're like, oh, man, oh, man, I just got this 120 Can you buy it? You're right. You can buy it. Because 20 is greater than 10. So you have enough money. Look at you. You'll even have money to spare, meaning you'll have more money left over. All right, friends. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I know what we're going to do. Here's an example. Say you're out in the community. You're working at the YMCA, right? You're helping greet people. On the first day, you do your day's work. You did everything. You follow directions. You say hello, either using your voice, your hands, or your communication device. And they hand you this $10 bill, okay? Woo-hoo! Okay, so you put it in your pocket. You come the next day. Do the same stuff, right? You're getting even better. You're saying hi to people from afar. You use your communication device. You device. You even say hi, how are you today? And you go, and they hand you this. That's not. That doesn't look the same. These two fives, right? Oh, that's a five. I forgot to tell you. Five and five. Does not look the same as this one paper. Ten. It does not. But how is that right? You did the same work in the community. You're getting the same pay, they tell you. Now we're going to figure it out, right? Because in situations like that, you're going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like the people I work with, but I got to make sure. I got to use my math skills to make sure this is right. Because people make mistakes. Let's clap it out. Let's do the 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I'm going to clap out this five, and I'm going to keep counting to add. All right, we did that last week or week before. Who knows? We're going to do it again, so we'll get more practice. To add this five again. So this five plus this five. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was our second five. Hmm. What was the end number for both of those claps? You're right. It was 10. So that means this $10, this $10 bill, I'm going to place it right here, is equal to, even though it looks a little different, to, to, to these two fives. Five plus five is 10. Oops. So that means 10 equals <laughs> 10 equals 10. Even though they looked a little different, we use our math skills to show that they are the same. <sighs> My goodness. That's some interesting stuff. <laughs> so I know right now we aren't out in the community for school. You may not even be out in the community when you're home, which is totally fine. So we want to keep ourselves, ourselves and other people safe. But at home and in school, you will be working on skills like money skills and math skills that you can take out in, into the community when we go back. So we are ready and more intelligent 
meaning our brain is stronger than ever when we get back out there. You can use this skill at home every day, thinking about how many, um, what numbers are greater than, what numbers are less than, what numbers are equal to, in anything you use. If you're unloading the dishwasher with a family member or a friend, you can see if there's more forks coming out of the dishwasher or more spoons coming out of the dishwasher. Opportunities are endless. So I hope you enjoyed our math and money lesson today, and I will see you all soon. Bye.